guys, welcome and welcome back to another episode of Reconcile the, the podcast. podcast. My name is Rashera. My name is Nato. And today, today we're going to be talking about, drum roll please, the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. The fear of the Almighty, Almighty Lord. So let's let's just get right into it. Though yeah, let's just get right into it. <laughs> we thank the Lord <laughs> for the breath of life, for the grace that teaches us to say no to all ungodliness. Anger, deceit, anger, yeah. lust, everything. everything. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you for asking. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's start. Let's begin. What do you think, or what, according to you, what is the fear of the Lord? Um, we had actually tackled this in our what God is teaching us mm-hmm. just a little bit. Yeah. But when I think about the fear of the Lord, I think about reverence. Mm-hmm. I think about, whoa, mm-hmm. He's great. The Let awe me. Of the Lord, yeah. The awe of the Lord. <gasps> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I think about. Mm-hmm. I think for me, I think the same. Mm-hmm. When I was thinking about this, mm-hmm. and Natalie, before to answer Natalia Lisema that I didn't tell her, but I told her how I wanted this conversation Anika to flow. Anika too. Anika Anika Anika. Mm-hmm. So anyway, <laughs> I wanted, I was thinking about fear because sometimes we, when we think fear, we think kogopa. Mm-hmm. But there's a kind of fear that is the fear of the Lord yeah. and there's a kind of fear that is not of God. That's true. So how I, I thought about it was the fear of the Lord versus fear that is not of God. Mm-hmm. So what do you think is what, what do you think is fear that is not of God? Because there's fear, Sindio. Yeah. But there's God there's fear. There's the spirit of fear. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do I think? Like what do you think is, okay, or what is an example of mm-hmm. a situation or something that is that you'd be like, okay, this is not of God. Oh, so I I don't know which comes first, but mm-hmm. I had mentioned that mm-hmm. I I used to, I think it's just, I think it's still there, but I used to have this thing where Mimi na Ugopa kukua wale watu wako very serious about their faith. Mm-hmm. Because the more you become serious about your faith, mm-hmm. the more you experience all kinds of mm-hmm. attack. Yeah. Oh, CG of finances, oh, CG business, oh, CG family, mm. everything. Like, mm. there's all those things. So now, um, so now I was so scared of, like, being serious about my faith because I feel like of all the negative things that I yeah, see. Warfare, so that one, yeah. of the spiritual mm. warfare, the demons that you see and get to encounter, um, all of that. So I think that one, I know for sure, it is... You see the, the, yeah, you see yeah. Mungu. You need to shetana and I'm When I become serious. Mm. The kingdom of heaven. Mm. <laughs> to Africa, you will change. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was thinking about this, which I don't know. Maybe let me ask you. Do you think that kafia of, okay, God, um, okay, not even God, okay, I don't want to do this because if I do this, this is the consequence. Mm. I don't want to uh, have premarital sex because mm. if I do it, I'm going to end up with a pregnancy mm. that is out of wedlock and I'm going to yeah. be embarrassed. I'm going to yeah. be ashamed and all this. Is this, that's fear. I think it's a good fear. I don't know. I know we hold two different, different opinions. opinions yeah. I think mm. for me, I personally think it's okay. To, this is Natalie. Like mm. it's okay for me to be afraid of, 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 of having like sinning mm. because of the consequence. Yeah. You re- there's, there's when, when David had taken a census and Job was just, I think it was Job, Job was just like, don't, don't, mm. don't, don't. David was like, ah, I'll do it. Um, so now, see, I think God gave him three options. After 70,000 men died, either before, um, just go read that verse, um, God gave him three options. Mm. And one was, I guess, to fall into the hands of another nation. The other one was, I don't know. A plague. Those are yeah, so, like those something. And then now the Bible records mm. something along. Al- will, when we are editing, oh, Lord, remind me to just put it here. It says mm. that for it is a great thing for it is. It's it's a bad thing to fall into the hands of God. Mm. Like that, the, 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 the consequences mm. that he would have. I feel like I'm I'm nining, you're, I'm you're nining. misquoting. Drew, I remember he said he'd rather fall into the hands, hands of, of God because God, of his yeah. mercy. But then there's also another place in scripture that mm. says it is it would be a bad thing to fall into the hands of God because mm. of the consequence. Like you'd rather 
because of how great his punishment mm. can but ni many knees of us so this one says you you said the first one mm. that let us fall into the hands of the lord for his mercy is great ni mewadanganya do not uh, let me fall into the human hands maybe that's a different nini. i ni many knees but mm. anyway point mm. is i feel like it's okay to be to be, this is as naturally mm-hmm. it's okay to be easy mimi nadua nikifanya hii mm-hmm. i'll disappoint god and mm-hmm. i don't want to mm. okay so sir, i feel like that's different mm-hmm. from like, let me not say disappoint god mm-hmm. i'm afraid that god like the consequences mm-hmm. that will oh, yeah. follow so now for me it's I'm afraid I'll disappoint God that's a good kind of fear because mm. anyway God is too powerful what do you mean yeah yeah but there's okay so I'm afraid if I do this I'm going to end up doing what if I drink and drive I'm going to end up in a car crash mm. if I if I if I have sex before marriage I'm going to end up in a in itanga dio out of wedlock pregnancy mm. I don't know how to put it but yeah I don't feel like okay it's it's good it's okay and that can be the beginning of you learning to fear god i mm. don't know but if it's that is how you th- i don't know i feel like it's if that is how you look up look if that is how you think about it like yeah. okay i can't do this because this is the consequence mm. i feel like then we are missing the point mm. of it is not the consequence that should drive you to do what is right but rather the yeah. the the, the, yeah. the grace of god and you know yeah. the grace of god let me just put it at so it's just okay that's just a different meaning okay but the fear of god we've talked about it being um a reverence mm-hmm. and or there's this cover that i had found which talks about exactly that it used to be one of my favorite verses can i read it mm-hmm. uh hebrews this one oh, it doesn't explain but it just says therefore since we are receiving a kingdom that can this is hebrews 12 verse 28 Therefore since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire with reverence and awe that is the, the title is um the mountain of fear and the mountain of joy so maybe you guys can read the whole paragraph it's from verse 18 to 28 but yeah the fear of the lord when i think about the fear of the lord i think it it's not a I once didn't fear God and then now I fear God. I feel like even for me where I'm at right now and I was nikikuja I was thinking God do I fear you? Like do I do I fear you because there are things that I even find myself doing even to date that clearly I don't think I fear God. But then again there are other things that I cannot for sure do but it's co- just cuz I don't know I feel like there's a like a disconnect mahali where sometimes we take advantage of the grace of god and then to some other extent we are so affa- you're so like firm in that area of no i can't i can't be out here doing this because i fear god maybe it goes in levels yeah so that's yeah. what i'm actually saying that it's not a switch it's mm. okay 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 yeah progressive my first point is that or what i rather thought about first when i was thinking about the fear of the lord is that it comes with knowing god you said that it's not like just direct transitional but it's kidogo 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 the more i learn about god the more i learn that oh my god by the god utaki nikifanya hii and so because i love you and because i i'm in awe of you and your power and your might i cannot find myself doing this mm so many and my next one yeah you, oh, I, so i didn't many angles are so funny i don't have points mm-hmm. but so question mm-hmm. do you feel like the and i don't want to generalize it at the church or the body of christ but do you feel like there's a lack of or or reverence mm-hmm. towards god in our generation there is and mm-hmm. more so not even about the church but even as a country uh-huh like i was just thinking about it like we've lost as a god fearing country we've have we ever been even a god fearing we country? are a god fearing country <laughs> let me just speak as statistically but and we don't want to generalize it's not, but it's not generalizing you guys get what you're saying yeah, yeah but as as the church definitely as even as a country mm. like eh we we have we we've, we've lost the plot kit Okay maybe not kitambo sana but mm. definitely yes. Mm. 
from the things that we allow to go on in church, from things such as even corruption. Even allowing some politicians to give us money. Yes, yeah. from such things to even the tiny, tiny details that no one even sees even from our pastors, even these mass candles mm-hmm. that we usually hear of all these pastors, they're doing ABCD and even us as the praise and worship team, there's so much, there's such a lack of respect. Mm. Wow. I'm thinking about my life right now and the, at Akwango, there's such a lack of respect to God's time, to God's money. Uh, it's, anyway. Yeah, yeah so is. guys, so currently, I don't even, like, so, The, the Kenya is currently like in chaos and I remember there's this pastor that has, I follow thank you Pastor Thandi mm-hmm. for always sharing your wisdom so he said that so like with everything that is going on like God has given the the the, the big You see, when people talk about the church, they're talking about the people who we see at the front, like his my bodies, at mm-hmm. the Catholics, or his mama, I'm a, our my representatives. So now he said that God has given, you remember when Daniel, Daniel and Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego, they were given a seat at the king's table, but then they chose not to defile themselves. Mm. But now what we are seeing for some, I don't want to say for everybody, what has happened is that pastors um, have been given a seat mm. at the table mm. of the king, mm. but now they dis- defile themselves mm. and they are eating from the king's table. Mm. Yeah, they are eating from the king's table and forgetting that 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 was not your purpose. Mm. Your, your purpose was not to go and eat the meat mm. and everything from the king. It was to just give the king counsel and wisdom. So now back to the fear of God. I personally feel like, and actually where this topic came from was because we both separately went to pray. And when, you, and when we came back, at the different times that we came back, the thing that one of the, things that God highlighted was the fear of the Lord. Mm. And um, and I remember when I was, when I had gone to that prayer retreat center, the pastor said, wow, like you find praise and worship leaders. Mm. So, 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 imagine a stage, like a platform, and it's a big platform. So kuna watu hapa, like up and you're the altar, as mm. people call it. So here ukuchini kuna space. So now he was saying one day in his church, he found people having sex ukuchini like na alta ndio here padru and he was so heartbroken by it and so now he's like and now different pastors were saying the same thing because that was the message like just mm-hmm. the fear of the lord the fear of the lord and i feel like when we forget we forget that that bible verse that says do not do not be deceived mm-hmm. god cannot be mocked mm-hmm. whatever you sow you will reap mm-hmm. eventually and if we keep on um taking the grace of god for granted and being like as i can do what i want eventually like whatever is done in darkness it will come to light so our urge for you guys today is respect let let me and you let's respect god because the god that we serve yes we know him as a loving god mm-hmm. but we, all, we also know him as a judge mm-hmm. we also know him as a righteous god we also know him as um a holy god mm-hmm. in that There are things that he can like him and sin. How are we at at like at any point of their lives? So I do feel like the church has lost not the church, some of us. Um I don't to again generalize it, but there is some sort of lack of fear and mm-hmm. reverence toward this God. Yani neza kwa tu Any, sometimes you just find people saying some nasty things about the church, about God. You're just like, mm. what do you mean? Yeah. As in, you don't know Uyu Mungu. When Hebrews 13, 13 verse 8 says that he is the same today. Yes, I mean, yesterday, today, and forevermore. Like, it is serious. Mm. And I think we need to be like take this God very seriously. Just, just, See, yeah. God is not an ATM. God is... God is God. A supermarket. Anyway. Yeah, he's, he's, he's serious. Mm. He's a serious man. Mm. Man, man, on quotes. Do you feel like sometimes it's cause, I don't, like it's cause God is there. Like we can't see him. Yeah. I feel like it's harder yeah. to respect someone you cannot see. Yeah. Nani yeye ndio ana deserve all respect yet for me because I'm seeing Natalie I see how Natalie gets angry when I don't respect her or something mm. so it's easier for me to respect Natalie but 
for God because God it's not like okay ako hapa na sisi pia but he's not really someone that we can see with our physical eyes mm. it's i feel like it's harder mm. to respect i don't know if i'm making sense you are i personally feel like it's harder it's harder quote and quote yeah 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 quote uh, it's harder because when we see let's say politicians give money mm. ama people i don't know do all sorts of things um you don't see the direct consequence so it's easier for you to be like ah as in ah hakuna mm. like ah si mtu ako sawa mm. ama like they've not gone to prison nothing bad has happened to them yeah. so now you you feel like okay like things are okay mm. that's why we might not like have that kind of reverence because you're like okay um say bado si anaenda church mm. bado tu atakuwa forgiven bado tu my cousin recently was telling me of his friend so now his friend like went to australia to study hajai mali this is like in 2016 mm. hajai maliza alikuja actually as like addicted akona hadi alikuwa na jidunga drugs mm. um and then now recently the dad took him to a different country to study Um and I was like eh hey, kwani akona pesa aje and then he's like actually Sidri his dad his his dad's dad got into politics really early so now because of like they have money they have the money but then what he said was and I remember I even told you the story what he, and this my friend is not born my cousin is not christian born again or maybe I'm assuming I don't know but, <laughs> <laughs> okay but you get my point mm. um so now my cousin was like mm but you see like the how the grandfather acquired wealth mm. was not in a right way so now fine the grandfather might have been living his best life mm. the dad might have had have might be living his best life but now the consequence has come to this grandson who is so like is into mm. drugs and everything so i think and i'm talking a lot i think we forget that mm. when god like the world has been set in such a way that there's a ripple effect mm. whatever you sow you will reap and man i think because we don't see the direct consequence you're like okay maybe mm. nime maybe nimepotea nime 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 like what's the word nimepotelelea like yo as in your consequence like any any peter that's mm, the word that's I've the dodged word dodged that bullet yeah i've, I've dodged that mm. bullet but god is like like just the way he has set the world mm. is that there will always be cause and effect there mm. will always be something mm. to happen whether you feel like it or not whether you feel like you've run scot free something will always come to be and i'm even remembering the story of david and actually it was our sermon on sunday i was actually thinking about the same exact thing right yeah, now you can talk about that uh, okay so mm. but I was thinking about how um Don was saying uh, the guy that preached on Sunday he was saying that uh, for David like he and I think he kind of didn't fear God at that exact moment or whatever led him to um kill, kill Raya. Raya take his wife Bathsheba. and everything and the consequences literally just trickled down even way way later the son that they had with Bathsheba had died, died. then Absalom and you know David was forgiven Yeah. but the son still died he lost uh, how, we can't four sons. Quite four sons he lost four sons but he was still forgive you know that's like the 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 it's the, crazy the the, the, the nini baffling thing mm. that god still forgave him but the consequences still, still. had to happen yeah. and david is referred to as a man of the bayon heart it's Yet, mad this is what i think Uh, when why i was talking about like people we don't i don't feel like we know god enough to fear god and because now i'm thinking okay so we've said people maybe we, it's progressive yeah it's progressive when you put that blanket statement we don't know god like can you really know god to, no uh-huh, uh-huh. I, mean, i don't mean as in mm-hmm. no i mean mm-hmm. like we don't know god enough to fear god and it's yeah. not that he, we have not if okay if i mean myself i don't know god enough to fear god the That's way true. i should fear him not at in the aspect of if you if you don't know god uh, that's not what i mean i mean that yes it's like consistently uh, consistent pursuit and the more you it's like the more the more i learn natalie the more i get to okay so natalie likes this natalie does not like this if i'm spending if i spend two minutes with natalie i don't know you as much mm. but if i spend 
a couple of days a couple of months a couple of years mm-hmm. and unajua in okay don't at me say generalize mm-hmm. but even in church nowadays we see these people that are sort of invested in ministry and all these other good good things and yesiko to pale ju but they're not focusing on that personal relationship with God. I don't know if you get me. Yeah. And so we are finding that even in praise and worship, what talk about praise and worship, what talk about any, but do they really, do we really spend time with God the way that we should, such that this thing, your ministry and all these other things are secondary and our relationship is primary. Mm. So you can, in a mix sense. So mm-hmm. that even you find that, so that even for people to be having sex on Apochinia altar, I feel like if we as Wangeshi was there's a video we were doing like with we we have done with Wangeshi let me say we have done with Wangeshi let me saw what she, what she said she said what did she say I think I've lost my train of thought <laughs> what did she say what then the mighty name of Jesus Christ what is I talking about now I was talking about how we don't no we don't know and we mm. don't respect God what did Wangeshi say Um, anyway, I think our like our our call mm. or rather this video man, I think God is very serious. Mm. I, the, 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 the preaching that goes around which is true that God is loving, God is kind, God is God merciful, God us. is yeah. I think when Okay sometimes not all the time but sometimes when that's the nini some 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 of us can be like okay then I can I can, I can get do away anything with this. I can mm. get away with it but guys it, this we are just here to try and 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 remind you and us that we need like the fear of the lord needs to return to the church where, so that we are not doing some yeah. things that god is just like what is going on what what and yes there is grace but also god god miro yangu tu na you know because i remember when i was praying that was like that thing was so heavy in my heart and i know that was god's heart then he's just like tell this tell 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 the people mm. respect because god cannot be mocked mm. i can't be here telling coming here on this podcast being like guys let's love god let's but let's my lifestyle yeah. let's be holy and my lifestyle is contrary mm. you remember what paul said that him actually he as he's preaching him he doesn't want to be disqualified because there's a way that we too can be dis- we can give you all the truth mm. and pastors can give us the truth but even them there's there's a way that they can they too can be disqualified mm. from the race and the run yeah. because all you're doing i th- i don't know where i said this but knowledge is so easy to acquire um we have people who go to to what is it called bible school and they are atheists mm. they are muslims but when it comes to breaking down the word of god they can because knowledge is so easy to acquire mm. but you can have all the knowledge in the world but still be disqualified mm. and the door when god god will be like i don't know you mm. get away from me i didn't know you so the call and the the urge to you and to me is that pray lord help me like let me fear you i i was thinking about isaiah when isaiah met I don't know at what point he met God but I believe he was a prophet. Um I don't know what came first. Actually because I don't know let me not state it. <laughs> I wanted today's the what I wanted to say. Mama is it I can't remember. Ama? I don't know. Mm. I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure. I when he met God mm-hmm. and when he met God he was like woe to me a sinful mm. man but he was already a prophet mm. like Isaiah was a, like Isaiah had been a man of God but when he met God when he had his encounter with God he was like yo as mm. in it's it's it was too intense and he saw his sin guys let's just fear God mm. let's just let's just pray that God let me fear you let me fear you let me fear you so that now we are not also shaming the 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 church of christ yeah. you know that's another thing because you think like why we saw so many pastors fall is because you think you'll get away with it and then now oh, look in the end what does it do it brings shame mm. people are just like us you are right these mm. christians are hypocrites mm. they are not about their business i even just remembered this thing that okay so with the chaos that are happening and everything yeah. um, in kenya oh yeah and then now the yeah. church 
people are now like the church is silent the church is you know blah blah blah, blah. the church the church the church the church and we were having this kind of discussion like what who really is the church that yeah. we come and say that blah, 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 blah. i'm thinking even aside from the fear the church and how we are thinking about it in whatever is going on right now there have been areas there have been instances where like okay so for, for so for now it's the church is not speaking up mm. but what is the reason why the church is not speaking up because oh, apparently our church like the to the, the, the state house yeah tunaenda kukula pe pesa as in tukiitwa huko not everyone uh, harambees yeah. and so wanakuja na mwaga manini mapesa kwa harambees kwa makanisa and that is why the church is take has took a step back from mm. it but you really wonder like okay who really is the church mm. but now my point was not even that my point was that um what was my point aki why do i keep losing my train of thought ishindo katika god aki thank you because katika jina la yesu in the mighty name of jesus let me move from that kwanza ni mm. same what i wanted to say you're saying shame that was where the whole nini like the shame that when we when we lose nini mm. the fear of god the shame that we bring upon the body of christ Oh. Okay, Jacksonia, Jacksonia. Mm. But I wanted to ask now because maybe okay, this video is very here and there but for maybe someone who is like okay, so guys, I had the fear of the Lord. So how what like how do I I feel like yes, it's a prayer, but do you feel like there are practical ways? Not not exactly practical, but like how do I get back to fearing God? How do I get back to fearing God and knowing that by there I just can't do this i can't just get away with whatever i'm doing even as a church member like as a church as the body of christ mm. in where you serve and also in your personal relationship mm, i have two things number one, remember mm. when god says and this is kai you know draw mimi naweza kwa fa nikiongea alafu god for big 20 years from now mnaniona not a scandal guy mungu ashindwe ashindwe shetani shetani ashindwe It is important to remember remember what the word of God says. So let me start with the word. Mm. Read the word. Mm. Basically yeah. like the word of God is the mind of God. Mm. It is the heart of God. And then also just know for me Natalie that whatever is done in darkness mm. will come to light. <laughs> whatever is d- done in darkness will come to light. Number two, your verse aki Lord may it always just keep me humble that usi 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 jidanganye god cannot be mocked mm. god cannot be mocked whatever i will sow i will reap if i sow in the spirit i will reap of the spirit if i sow in the flesh eventually mm. like i will reap in the flesh so for you and for me guys mm. imagine just let's be found deep in the word of god so that we know okay god likes this god does not like this mm. and because he does not like this i will be found 1 million miles away mm. from what he doesn't like yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but be surrounded again by people who will be like ashera that boyfriend sikuoni simoni vizuri sioni ama 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 that business deal sioni vizuri ama ama whatever this person i feel like can lead you in the rock it's like as if i'm your friend i should be able to talk to you and tell you yeah definitely sioni papa yeah. yeah wow this thing this conversation is so difficult yet easy because it's just like okay god like i really want i think about my life now i'm just like okay god me i i want to fear you like i want to be as far away from sin as you are mm. like if god is holy i want to be holy too mm. and as you said i think the most important thing is just to read the word of god yeah. fearing god comes from knowing god yeah the more you know god the more you are fearful yeah. and it's not again it's not that fear of but that is neither here nor there cuz Natalie has one opinion and I have the other mm. god we don't know maybe we should god have has... an episode of different opinions that we have <laughs> <laughs> yes but is it see doctrine yeah. uzuri it's just yeah. our opinion mm. but yeah so it's so that we are not um, fearing god for the wrong reasons but we also remember that god is a god of wrath and not just sometimes we think about the god of the new testament and we the god of the new testament is sort of just portrayed in such a soft soft mm. but the god of the old testament the dealt god, fair yes. and square with people mm. and as you said he's the same today yesterday and forever and it's just that sometimes we experience the mercy of god 
and we don't really get to see how serious quote unquote god is but again our the point of making this video is just to even for us ourselves even for me as well she to just be more intentional with learning and knowing god it's like a relationship the way you are serious with your ka boyfriend or somebody like i want to be more serious with god and learn the attributes of god yeah and, and the, the character the mind yeah. yeah and the bible says that um resist the devil free 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 freedom flee <laughs> from him mm. and he will flee mm. uh, submit to god resist the devil flee. and he will flee no there's a um, verse that another. says mm-hmm. flee from the devil and he will flee from <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not oh. no, the there's a for, that that's for flee is guys no anyway, it's, 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 it's nini acha ni google eh like kaka kando hata yeye ataka kando let me see flee katika tie episode guys tuna google bible verse flee from the devil Hakuna ma. Fana ni venye ni fani kidogo tu. Um yes, mm. resist the devil. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me read NKJV. Mm, mm. Resist the devil and he will flee from ah, you. Hakuna what was I saying? Hakuna <laughs> Natalia anataka kujiendea Bible. He will flee from you. Hii Bible ya God imetosha. Anyway, uwi. Ah no. Anyway, point is Resist the devil and he will f- Yeah so actually yeah, pay you mm-hmm. resist the devil and he will flee from you so mm-hmm. we we also have I mean, Aki, what is wrong? What is this spirit of forgetting our train of thought? <laughs> <today>? <laughs> But I think you guys are getting the yeah. point. Um stay away and he will also stay away. Stay away. Mm. Something something resist. like that. Resist. Actually ni ku resist na ye atatoroka. Eh ni ni kitu kama hiyo. Eh eh so Yeah just just like let's just be found mm. walking in holiness yeah. in purity of mm. heart mm. and in mind so that we are not bring, I'm not bringing shame mm. to the body of Christ yeah. I'm not giving the world ammunition to be like our word to our word to our word yeah. to yeah so aki mungu tu atusaidie so that even when you guys when us we are being put in positions of influence and gover- government or whatever like to strong mm. yeah guys so our encouragement to us and to you mm. is let's just learn to fear god mm. let's be f- oh you had us the practical ways mm. so yeah You're reading um, your word. read your word mm. be found in community that shows you okay apa mm. hauko sawa apa uko sawa endelea na hiyo njia um but let's be in the word of mm. god because that again the word the bible says that um it's it is a light the bible the word of god is a light so it will help us to see the areas of darkness mm. in our yeah. lives yeah because yeah. some okay nime when you message me reading the word nikakumbuka okay kuna this practical ways when you talk about to mezoea and inakwanga okay so how can i do this okay read your word pray every day read your bible pray every day uh-huh. mm-hmm. but also not all, to add on to that is mm. just as well be intentional with okay god when you'll come say my god teach me how to fear you go oh, yeah. to intentional okay because now this there's this thing that we need to bring back the fear of god in the church okay god i want to be intentional with learning to fear you i think amen. that's amen that's that's it for me mm. we can pray mm. Let's pray. Our heavenly Father Lord, we thank you so much for reconcile. We thank you for Natalie. I thank you for Natalie and for myself. And we thank you for your word which is just telling us today to fear to fear you oh god and we thank you for your word that says that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom so lord we ask for us for our viewers oh god for our audience uh, to just teach us and remind us oh god to even just have a reverence for you oh god that in respecting you in loving you in fearing you oh god we will be found doing that which 
pleases you only oh god may you instill in us a fear a godly fear that teaches as your word says that your grace teaches us to say no to all ungodliness oh god so i pray that you may help us to even just be found um reading our bibles to know that which um is against that which that which opposes you oh god and that which you like oh king of kings we ask that you may give us the discipline oh god and the intentionality oh god remind us oh god through your holy spirit to just um seek you more and more because the more that we are uh, seek you the more we get to find you and the more that we get to know you oh god and the more that we get to even fear you oh god we thank you for your mercy we thank you for your love we thank you for your caring nature oh god and we ask that even as we continue with this um journey that is our salvation oh god your word says that we should work out our own salvation with fear and trembling oh god so we ask that you give us the um, the stamina oh god the capacity and it is in jesus name i do pray this prayer faith be living and trusting in jesus name amina amina thank you guys bye thank you rti peeps mungu awabariki amen mungu atubariki pia amen bye